And I'm so proud of our youngsters. They're doing so well in all sporting circles at the moment. Now, Varsity Beach Volleyball. It started on Wednesday and it concluded yesterday. And uh, the host, uh, UWC, claimed their fourth successive title. And this time on home soil, defeating Tux 33-29 in the final. Now, this morning we have UWC players Bianca Della, Tamlin Thomas and Basetsane Malubane in studio to chat about their epic success. Ladies, welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Man. Mm -hmm. How are you guys feeling coming off uh, an incredible run? Um, we're actually feeling very proud of ourselves. Um, we had a lot of training, hard training, so actually hard work pays off. So over the years, we had training with Kran Goldsmith, who is an Olympic player in South Africa, so he's our beach volleyball coach. And Elmin Kluti, who is our sports administrator and our indoor volleyball coach. Yeah. So they have put in a lot of effort and time into us, especially UWC Sport. And with a lot of this training, um, it's actually tiring for a student athlete. Because I'm studying law and it's quite difficult to manage my time with volleyball as well. So... Um, yeah, I can only imagine it's yeah. very, very challenging balancing the, you know, the academics with the sporting as well. But Tamlin, uh, let's talk about your success a little bit further. I mentioned that you guys achieved it on home soil. Did that make a difference in your performance this year? Well, for my first time playing Varsity Cup, it kind of gave me experience, like for the first time. It was kind of exciting experience playing against other teams. Well, I played against them again in the tournaments like the flying fish competitions but with this I gained experience and continue to play and maybe yeah. I'll play more. And of course you are definitely one of those key players I mean helping the team to victory. Um, Basetsan I want to ask you this because I mean you played in Cape Town now the weather in Cape Town is unpredictable as you can see at the currently <laughs> um, we have a howling wind outside you know how, how difficult it is, it is it to plan a, a volleyball tournaments like this and putting it together and just running it through? Uh, First thing first is that uh, with the weather, uh, normally when we train, it's a bit windy. <laughs> so every time we train to prepare for the wind. But it, it was quite a surprise because uh, the weather was actually beautiful for those two days. We had such a good weather and we didn't have to struggle with any wind because sometimes you have to play against the wind or play against the sun, but we didn't have any such experience. Ah, that's great. So the weather played along. It was meant to be. Um, Tamlin, your team has won an incredible fourth title in succession this year. It is absolutely incredible. I mean, what, what would you say uh, sets you guys apart from the rest of the teams? Is it your, your, your dedication to training, uh, your work ethic, the team itself? To be part of a winning team is really great. Like we train together, at times we come together, bond, have team talks, whatever. So it's really great to be part of a winning team. Yeah, I think it's great. Um, and uh, Bianca, uh, the state of the volleyball at the moment in South Africa, I mean, you guys are helping grow the sport as well, but, but where do we sit currently? I mean, is the sport really taking off in South Africa? Um, I'm thinking with a lot of exposure beach volleyball is getting now with the flying fish beach volleyball series going on and the varsity sports giving us exposure. Um, I think that will help beach volleyball a lot to, for young students to come out, learners to play more and start taking the sport seriously. Because we all know that beach volleyball is not a popular sport in South Africa, like rugby or soccer, yeah. for instance. Yet we have the most amazing beaches. Yeah, <laughs> of course. We have the locations, yeah. Yeah, so. I hope, like in the future, there will be more of us. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on you, uh, you ladies. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank and you. once again, congratulations with this epic win and this beautiful trophy as well. Hey, okay. Some rest time for you guys now. Yeah, for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> for the weekend. Well, have a lovely Mother's Day as well. That was our, our UWC Varsity Beach Volleyball winners this morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Right now, if you take a look at your watches, let's quickly catch up with your news headlines.